All right, fuckers, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90. I am very sick today, man. Sick as fuck. I feel... Uh, I'm so sick. I feel like I've just watched my team get humped out 10 fucking nil, but no, that hasn't happened. Although last week they did get humped 10 to an aggregate, but that's besides the point. I'm very sick, but I'm going to keep pump, uh, bump, pumping these episodes out, man, because... Uh, I want this series to do well, I want to consistently upload this, and I'm enjoying this, so uh, yeah, so uh, since the last uh, episode there, we we beat Astro, we Celtic, we qualified for the Champions League, we got the group draw, we seen how Hearts drew, and then we ended it there. Since then, I played one game offline, and it was with Rangers, away from home to Kilmarnock, and you can see that we lost it, yeah, we lost it, 3-2 uh, we lost, so not great, was it? No, we're not, we're not starting the best for Rangers, I mean... We did dominate. I mean, look at that, 27 shots to 8. Kilmarnock, though, did go 3 0 up. 3 0 up at the break. And then you can see Boyd getting a goal in the first minute, 14, and then a 33 minute penalty when Clint Hill brought him down and gave it away. In the second half, I mean, all the attack really changed the formation to the 5 3 2 with the wing backs, kind of. And uh, went overload and brought on Ainsley. Maitland Nails, the guy that we signed on loan from Arsenal, and you can see he scored two goals in a minute, so I don't know, maybe I have to start him from the future, but I don't know if we're going to change formation. I'm going to stick with the 4 5 1 and just give it a couple more games. I mean, I don't know, but this, maybe this was just a terrible first half, but I'm not quite ready to ditch that formation yet. Although our next game with Rangers is against Celtic, so it's going to be no room for error, man. We're going to have to uh, definitely you know, fucking deliver in that game because. Can't really afford an all defeat so early in the season, man. We could be getting sacked for fuck's sake, man. You know what I mean? The Rangers, man, they, 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 I mean, Scotland's most successful club. They're not going to bloody uh, settle for eighth in the league, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, talking about Celtic, let's move on to today's match here. It is Celtic taking on Aberdeen. This will be, I'd expect these two teams to be first and second come the end of the season. So we'll see um, if we can uh, get a good win over. We're at Celtic Park, you know, so you'd think we should win. But to be fair, man, I know I want to keep our winning streak going, but I would take a draw here. I'm not a greedy person. Um, I would take a draw. I've had a great start to the season, I think, with Celtic, albeit two wins out of two. We weren't really comfortable, but we won them. We qualified for the Champions League. I'm happy with the way things are going. If, if we can play the second best team in the league here and come away still undefeated then I'm quite happy with that so let's go to this team selection here and uh, let's see we've got Tierney out and Toure out man so already here some problems for us um, I'm going to have to put in we'll play Isaguri at left back if we can find the guy there he's there way down what the fuck why are you so far down the page man so there we've got Isaguri in and then we've got who could come in for Toure looks like Boyata <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, Boyata for a uh, Toure. But Tom Rogic doesn't look fit yet. Kasui Abue, man. Do we want this guy on the bench? Yeah, why not? Fucking get him on the bench. Uh, Chris Commons. I think he's on his way out of Celtic, to be honest. He's not really. Not much is happening for him. CS442. I can't remember why the fuck were we using this. Let's go back to the. Oh my god, where's our um, normal formation? I don't want this one. Uh, where's our other formation, guys? I can't fucking remember. Oh yeah, Gordon is out, out as well for five months. I'm trying to find our formation. Jesus. Uh, where the fuck is it? Is this it? Nope. For some reason, it's just... Fucking took away our formation. Um... Nope. Come on. This looks like it. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. <laughs> Fuck it, man. This will do. So, Dumbelli up front. Um, Bitten. Griff is there. I mean, we could play Griff as in behind Dumbelli, like, but I think we'll go with Stuart Armstrong. He's doing well at the moment. We'll stick with him. We've got Sinclair Roberts. Isn't too, isn't too good as a winger. Do we play him as an inside forward? I don't know about Sinclair. Could we play him as an inside forward as well, or is he a winger? Ah, inside forward, so I think that works well, actually. Play both of them. 
Yeah, so we'll play some clear attack when we are definitely more attacking players. So, um, what about Brown? Brown, ball winning midfielder. He can be on, be on support, and then you've got Betton. Betton will be playing as the. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. The, uh, I think they're playing as a halfback. Fuck it, yeah, halfback defend, I think. So, um, there you go. I think that's the good formation here. And Gordon also, yeah, we've got Gordon coming in. We need to bring in De Vries. Fucking hell, I am sick, man. Alright, so there you go. We look ready to go. I don't know quite know what happened there with the fucking formation, but we need to fix all this shit again. Our formation got deleted or some piss like that, so flexible. Fluid instructions. We want a, a slightly higher defensive line. Tempo, higher tempo. Wived. Wide. Closing down sometimes. Mixed. Um. Um, play with defense, yeah, play with defense, uh, look for overlap, work ball into the box, run at defense, um, free room, room from positions, um, be more expressive, um, Right, so there you go, man. I think that's us basically got it back. So let's see how we got on here against Dubber of Dean Fox. It should be a good game. Derek Boyatan, he's a good, he's struggling to match effectiveness, but fuck it, man. We've got to play them. We've got injuries in the team here. Don't think the game quite understands that, man. We'd rather play a guy that's no match fit than a guy with fucking one leg, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. Uh, not surprisingly, we're one to two favourites, so we'll be looking to yep, look to win the strength of technical aspirations. Aberdeen obviously want to qualify for thing. Their key man Ryan Jerk, our key man Musa Dembele, eleven goals in nine games so far. Let's see if we can add to that today. Continue. <laughs> Alex the cliche. Come, um, pick the team that gives us the best chance of winning. So you see, they've actually kind of went for more or less the same formation. Albeit theirs is slightly more aggressive, I think, than ours. Ours are a wee bit more defensive, so, uh... Alright, ah, we'll see how we go on. Continue to team talk. Assertive. There you go. Natural game, and they didn't seem to ask Davies to take individual team talk. He didn't seem to do anything either, so... Don't quite know how the team talk went down there, but a big game here in the SPL. It's the, uh, it's the fucking fav team to favorite team here to win the league. Team that's favorite by a mile. Celtic taking on the team that's probably going to finish second. Aberdeen, so should be a good one, man. Let's see what happens. Aberdeen, though, passing it a bit here. Don't know who this new guy is, Copper Shinky or whatever the fuck he's called. Some Polish guy. You'd expect him to work in Subway, not play for Aberdeen, but. We'll see if he's any good here. Aberdeen dominating the possession, albeit early on, man. Still a lot of shit to happen in this match. No shots so far. We're six minutes in. As I say, that Aberdeen just got the first shot, but it was off target. So, um, yeah, not a lot happening here. Pretty slow start in the first seven minutes of this game. You can see current league tables there. We would be sitting in second place, all oh, but still with a game in hand. Aberdeen sitting down. And fair thing, see, you can't even see Rangers, man. You have to scroll down to see Rangers, so. That is pretty bad, man. That is. Definitely going to have to start improving with Rangers. But anyway, Graham Shinney, he's got a corner. He's whipped it in. Patrick Roberts foul. The referee's given a penalty, and I didn't see much in it. But the referee has given it, so. Fuck. Must have been something here. It's going to be Adam Rooney with a chance to bury this. To put Aberdeen in front here. Can Adam Rooney do it? Adam Rooney steps up. He, he takes a few steps back. And he does. He sends uh, De Vries the wrong way there. And last time we 
We had to sub Craig Gordon due to a small injury stub finger. We can see that goals like crazy against Hearts. Hopefully, we're not going to do that again because Craig Gordon out for five months, like, so you never know, man. That could be the thing that just blows our fucking, like, this whole idea of us winning the league easy, man. You never know. If we lose Craig Gordon, the other keepers not to scratch, man. Maybe Aberdeen could challenge us or fucking Hearts or even that shite in Blue Rangers if I can get them to play well. I do not know, man, so... I'm going to try my best for Rangers, I need, fucking need a miracle, but fuck it. Anyway, 25 minutes in here, Aberdeen still maintain their lead, and we're going to go attacking, Chris. I don't think we're doing nothing, are we? Not really, man. I'm not playing as good as I'd want to play, so... Get the players attacking here. I'm gutted we actually had to change tactics. That tactic was working for us, so... Ah. Oh. Lewis punts it up. He tries to find Hayes. Hayes heads it down. Sinclair they're trying to get on the end of it, he doesn't, but Sinclair now picking it up, he's got Sinclair into Stuart Armstrong, Armstrong back to Sinclair, he's got Dembele with him, he plays it to Dembele, it's Armstrong, Armstrong, oh what a goal, Stuart Armstrong man, fucking legend, it's just like the goal he scored against Rangers the other day man, great shot, fade it outside of the box, I was right to start him, I was right to start him, there was talk about Callum McGregor starting or playing Lee Griffiths as a CM, I went with Stuart Armstrong and he's uh, done me proud there, man. He's got the goal, so things are looking good here as we go to half time. Looks like a draw, and like I said, I, I would take a draw to start the match. And obviously, being a goal down, I'd be more than happy with the draw now. So, we have to be honest there. It was pretty disappointing, so I have to tell them that. Um, cautious. Um. Tell them they can still win it. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna go on control man, don't wanna go too attacking. Don't be too greedy. My main concern is not to lose this game. You might think that's negative, but I don't want to lose this game. I just like to, you know, build our confidence or something, try and go on a unbeaten streak. Kinda like similar how the Celtic are doing in real life, you know. I think they're 26, 28 games in, they haven't lost yet, so I mean I kinda like something like that, albeit I don't expect to go that far into the season, but if we could go like I don't know. Start off with something small, like maybe 10 games unbeaten. It'd be pretty cool, so hopefully we can maybe just, you know, consolidate this position here, this result, and maybe try and snatch a winner. But it appears that we're beginning to take over here. We're having other chances now. Aberdeen haven't had a shot for, like, it's been about a good 20-odd minutes now since Aberdeen had a shot, so I mean, we seem to be in control of this match. But can we find a second? Can we get a winner? Patrick Roberts there, picking up the yellow card, he's already gave away a penalty day, not one of his best games, sitting at a 6.0 rating at the moment. And uh, I think we might make a wee substitution here. Uh, I think we're going to make a substitution, so let's see here. Who could come on for Patrick Roberts on that right-hand side? It could be James McLean, not really match fit yet, but we could give him a chance. Um, maybe Lee Griffiths? Nah, James McLean, fuck it, we'll bring him on. And um, anyone else? Maybe bring on Lee Griffiths up front. Um, I don't know. Maybe a buoy for yeah, uh, Britain who seems to be a wee bit tired. So we'll bring on a buoy there. And oh no, we've fucking picked Agisa Guri. Jesus Christ! Come on, Kasui, a buoy from near Britain. It's no difficult. Finally, we've done it, man. We've made the change. But will it change anything in this game? <laughs> 27 minutes to go. Let's look at the match stats here. Still only... It's been eight, like that for a while, man. No shots happening here. Not a lot happening. Looks like Gamboa could be in trouble. He picks up a yellow card and... Shit, so... um, Come on. Logan uses his head. Brown passed it to Dumbelli. Not having a highlight. It's been a while since we had a highlight. Come on. Another yellow card there, this time Scott Brown. Look at how many, seven yellow cards in this match so fast, so far. Yeah, it could be, someone could be getting sent off soon, you feel. There's F.A. Ambrose to Ibue, the man was brought on. It was a decent pass out there to McLean, the other man brought on. Can McLean do something? Can he get his, I don't think he's yet to score for Celtic. Could he get his first Celtic goal today, man? It'd be great if he could get the winner here against Aberdeen. Sinclair coming in and they have to mark him. They're not marking him and Sinclair with a good shot but Lewis is equal to it. Parries it away for a corner. 20 minutes to go here. Sinclair going to be taking this corner. 
Can he cause any damage? It's whipped in. It's Boyata trying to get on the head of it, but Lewis comes out comfortably catches that. Good goalkeeping there from the Aberdeen uh, keeper. And he punts it up and tries to get clear of danger here. I might just use our last substitution with uh, 19 minutes to go. Let's see here. Who do we want to bring on? Lee Griffiths, I think. Let's see if he can come on and try and get the win over fucking... Come on, Lee Griffiths on, and let's give it team talk. Lee Griffiths has been good, so we want to try and passion it. Yeah, so let's see, man. We'll tell him. We'll tell him that we know we can make the difference there because it is on, it's kind of harsh on Lee Griffiths that he isn't starting, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm at the moment, I'm just playing one striker up front, and that striker just happens to be Moussa Dembele, but there's really not much between them. It could change, you know, that. Any moment, like, you know, Mr. Dembele could go a few games with a couple of goals and, you know, I might just put in Lee Griffiths in that position. Anyway, De Vries punts it up. Griffiths tries to win the head down. It falls to Jack, but Graham Shinney's give away the fill here. He's already on a yellow, man. This could be him off here. Is it going to be him off? And it is Graham Shinney with the red card and I think we're going to go into attacking here. I'm going to go into overload. Fuck it, man. Aberdeen down to 10, man. I think we should just go for this. Gamboa with a throw in near the corner flag. He throws it to Griffiths. It comes into Brown. Brown shots blocked and it falls to Isaguri and he hits it straight into the hands of Lewis. Great chance there. Just a shame it fell to uh, Isaguri. You know, if it fell to someone better, a striker, attacking midfielder, it may have went in. Who knows? McLean heads it down to Stockley. The ball is there. It's going to be retrieved by Ambrose to De Vries and De Vries just punting up. No nonsense. No nonsense, he's punted it straight to Story here. This could be trouble. Aberdeen, oh no, it's Brown. Brown's brought him down, he's already booked, and I think Brown could be off here. And it is, it's a second yellow for Brown, man, and that's fucking shocking there with the man advantage. You know what? Just gonna go stand up now. That's. With the man advantage for about, what, fucking 10 seconds? Oh, really disappointing there. Have to. Oh, Armstrong come down a bit. And we're going to have to bring McLean and Sinclair down a bit as well, so... Fuck it, there you go. Probably take the draw now, man, as long as we just get settled for this 1-1 here. It'll be a decent result. We'll keep us undefeated, keep us in a good position in the league. Hopefully Aberdeen will don't score from here. McLean to Pallet and his ball through to Nabdy. Cleared only as far as Logan, though. Back to McLean. McLean spreads it across into the centre to Jack. Jack to Pallet. Back to Jack, and Ryan Jack hit it for about 40 yards. No, it's McLean. McLean, though, might hit it. No, he pay, plays it to Logan Aberdeen here. Patience here. Yeah, they're, they're passing that about, looking for an opening. There's Logan trying to... Ah, and it comes to nothing. Two minutes to go now. This could be it. Free kick here. Sinclair whips it in. It's going to fall back to Sinclair here. Can Sinclair do something? Oh, it's took it to flip. Oh, my God. How unlucky is that, man? I'll take it. I don't give a fuck, but it's an own goal from again. Now I'm again there with the own goal, and that is incredibly lucky for Celtic. And I kind of feel bad for Aberdeen, but I've taken it, man. It's, I mean, I have to take it. I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Refuse it, man? Just say, no, I'm happy with the 1 1. No, man, it was fucking harsh on Aberdeen, but, you know, good for us, man. It keeps our winning momentum going, our winning streak intact. So let's see here if we can hold on now. Another chance here. It's whipped in. Can we make it free? It's Ambrose. Looks like he's going to the corner flag. No, he finds McLean. McLean to Abui. To McLean. Into in the middle to Gamboa. Gamboa now. Back it to Abui. They seem content passing it about. Don't seem to be looking for the third goal to kill Aberdeen off. McLean. He's lost it. He don't want any play about there. Man, Gamboa this time. Get rid of it. Get it to fuck. James McLean. Gamboa. And they're just... Sad signs here, man. They're just passing it about. It's not the kind of football I want. It is Armstrong to McLean. Into Griffiths. And Griffiths makes something happen. No, he's been tackled and it's fallen to Saguri. Three minutes are up. Referee's surely going to blow the whistle. He does, man. Nick Walls brings proceedings to an end. And we've come out 2 1 winners against Aberdeen. So, I mean, it looks like a good result, but I'm going to have to tell the players that I'm not really, you know, happy with that performance. Um, cautious. 
I was a bit of a let off. Um, Stuart Armstrong, though, we will give him an individual. We will we'll try. I we'll think it lets us. Well, Scott Brown struggled to get back into the team following his red card. Assertive. Yeah, I trust him completely, man. <laughs> Doesn't look like a trustworthy guy, does he? Like, I mean, let's be honest. And then, see, guys, that is a match that we can't wait for. Coming up next, it's going to be Rangers versus Celtic Old Firm Derby in the league. We've already had it in the cup. But now it happens in the league. And talking about the league, let's have a quick look at the league table before we end this episode. There you can see Hamilton currently on top. Um, no, wait. These are old fucking hell. What, what fans? That's the old fucking table. Not the new table, man. Oh, we've got some achievements. Unbeatable. Scoring streak. You're on fire. Also, oh, just unlocked three achievements there. Lucky for us. Celtic secure victory. And with that, now we'll look at league table. And then you can see Hamilton top after four games, one three, drawn one. We're second with Celtic. They played three, one three, albeit Hamilton have played an extra game, so we should be looking to go back top of the league once we play our game in hand. And you can see with Rangers were down in nine, played four, one one, drew one, and lost two, so not too good there. The games that we've won and drew have been at home respectively, so I mean we're still beating at home with Rangers. Something to clang on to I guess, but we definitely need to start picking up results, get a bit of consistency and you know start winning. It's, it's early days, I'm not panicking, but my fear with Rangers is up next we do have Celtic and that's a game where I think we'll lose, you know what I mean, and maybe get a draw, but I don't expect us to win that. So I think after that man we need to let's have a quick look at the Rangers fixtures here because I think we need to have a couple of games where we can like can get consecutive wins just to Give us a bit of momentum here, so let's have a quick look. Left of Celtic. See, I mean, we're away to Celtic, and then we've got a home game against Ross County where I think we'll win, but then we're away to Aberdeen, like, you know, so these next three games at a possible nine points, I see us getting about four, if we're lucky. And I know that's probably fucking not what Rangers fans want to hear, but I'm just being honest. So after the Aberdeen game, though, we have Partick Fissel, Inverness, St. Johnson, Kilmarnock, Ross County, Dundee, Partick Fissel again. So there's a run of games there where I think we need to be winning most of these games where we play Hearts. And I don't know, hopefully we can try and get back up towards the top of the league table. So we'll check our inbox here just before we go. Anything worth seeing here, post-match press conference. I'm going to send the assistance, Greg Davies. Um, just took me to this page, don't know why. And there you go, a Scottish Premier League ground up, average goal per match, 2.3, player of the day, Graham Kurchak, total attendance, 60,000, Kenny van der Weg had a bad day, results, and um, hi, so, there you go guys, not a lot else for me here to cover, I mean, see, just have a quick look at the player stats, their goals, Chris Boyd currently the top goal scorer in the league, then yeah, we have uh, average rating, David Amoa, Armstrong in second, Adam Rooney with the most assists, joint with Rory McKenzie. Player of the match is Sammy Nicholson twice, joint with Scott Armstrong. Clean sheets, we've got Craig Gordon, but uh, with his injury I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to take him soon. In yellow cards, we've got uh, Chris McHugh there for Mullerwell, and Chris Muller, who, or Cal McHugh, whatever the fuck he's called, I don't give a shit what he's called. C, C McHugh, man, fuck him. I mean, I'm not saying any shit, so there you go. Go do it for this episode, guys. So, you know, tune in next time to episode uh, 7, and it will be the Rangers Celtic Old Firm Derby. And I'm still going to be sick because I'm probably going to go and fucking play it now, so you know what? Just deal with it, man. <laughs> I might go and praise Armstrong here. But anyway, until next time, guys, peace.